Hi, I'm going to show today how to use Centro message thread uh, workflow updates to um, update things in Salesforce. So in this demo, we'll have a case that's posted in Slack and a customer will respond in the thread to that case that they need some help. And then we'll show how that will update the case status to customer responded as well as the last person to touch that thread and um, have that activated in Salesforce. The other hand, um, a use, uh, an agent can post back in the thread and we'll update the static automatically to um, waiting on customer and um, know where we are in our queue. So if we have a bunch of Slack cases, we wanna manage them in Salesforce, but have that um, message posting as the, tripping, or as the triggering event to do so. So here I've got a case. I'm logged in as Hannah. This is our customer. And Centro is telling me to keep the discussion here by replying to the thread. So I'll say any updates. And what this will do on the Salesforce side, switching gears to Salesforce, I'm now the agent Ryan who's supporting. You can see we've updated the status to customer responded. And we've also updated a couple fields here. We added the last Slack responder, Hannah demo, and then the snippet. We can, of course can see this in the Lightning Web Component as well. This is our live chat um, experience. So myself as Ryan now, I can say, yes, one moment. And that will post to our thread in Slack. But now that also tripped our trigger to now say waiting on customer. Um, and we can see Ryan's the last person that responded in the last Slack, snack, Slack snippet. And if we refresh our list view on cases, we can quickly see who or we can create a list view that's looking for where the customers responded and waiting on us or we're waiting on customer. Um, so that's just a small example of what's possible. Uh, if, you, if, if you'd like to see how that's built, um, you can continue watching, otherwise that concludes the demo portion. So in Slack, uh, this requires Slack Workflow Builder. And what you'll need to do is um, create a Workflow Builder um, called Case Thread Handler. And this is a webhook triggered flow. So how to start a webhook triggered flow, you come into create and call it and call, uh, pick webhook advanced. And then you'll add some variables and then I'll show you those variables in a moment. And they're all gonna be text type. So let's go ahead and look at what that looks like. Um, this, you'll wanna create these uh, variables, um, all lowercase channel ID, record ID, user ID, message and message TS. All of these are gonna be of type text except for the user ID, which is a data type Slack user ID. Otherwise, um, they're all gonna be of type text. Okay, so when you have those variables set up, we are going to fire a Salesforce platform event. We'll call it reply to thread, and we'll have the channel ID, message timestamp, message text, user ID, and etc from our variables in the webhook um, variable set, set up. And how to insert a variable, you'll simply come in here and pick channel ID, and we'll insert that into the Slack um, interface. So do the same thing for message timestamp, message. When you pick user ID, you'll get three options. Um, in this case, I've picked email and name for these two, for Slack member ID and Slack username. And then this is important, record ID into the value field. Okay. <clears throat> This will be part of our package to um, uh, install. So I will. You can install these. You can export these um, uh, workflow builders, um, and I'll include that as part of this um, setup package. And when you want to import them, you'll just come into Slack Workflow Builder, hit Import, and select the file that I provided. Okay, on the Salesforce side. Um, we will have a platform event triggered flow to deal with all of these uh, messages back and forth. Let's take a look at that. So I created a uh, 
platform event trigger and flow called Central Action. And I picked the platform event we ship with called Central Action. Um, I first start a router and um, route based on the API name. We gave that API name this reply to thread value. I just picked it out of the blue. Uh, just made sense for what we're doing here. Um, and this is the reason I have a routing a, a decision tree is because we could have multiple platform events handling coming from Slack to deal with separately. Okay, so anytime we see that API name, we're going to go into the reply from thread branch and we're going to look up the case and user. So we're going to look up the case based on the ID field from that value field that we stuffed in that platform event handler from before in Slack. And we've got our lookup user that we're going to look up based on their email. You could also equally look up based on their um, um, user ID. And of course, you can look up against the contact too. So it depends on your use case, if this is internal or external, um, how you want to go about looking up who just posted that Slack message. Okay, so then we have a responder decision. And this one's pretty simple, but you can get pretty sophisticated. You, so what I'm saying here is two branches. One is if the case owner responded versus the case submitter responded. If the case owner responded, we'll just look up the owner ID based on the case and our result from our lookup user. If they match, we know that the case owner is responding. And to set the um, case, valuable, case variables appropriately. On the other hand, oops, if it's someone else, so anyone but that case owner, um, then we'll assume it was uh, from someone who's curious about the case that's not the case owner. Okay, so then we simply update the case. Um, we add the status waiting on customer. Um, we can come in here and add the Slack um, last responder equals the Slack member. That's what we set up before, sent member ID. And the last Slack snippet, we will use the um, um, Slack message text. And that will update our Salesforce record and um, do what I showed in the, um, in the demo part of our video. So that's all there is to it. Um, and one last thing you'll have to do when you publish that, I'll show, oh, by the way, I will ship this as an unmanaged package so you can get started quickly. The last thing you'll need to do is in Centro, come into workflow setup and paste the webhook URL from our, our, um, our workflow. So you just come in here and say, edit, and then copy this webhook URL and then paste that into the reply to record blocks webhook URL. And that's all it'll take to get whatever message is coming back from Slack to update Salesforce. Now you can be pretty creative with this. Um, for example, you may make a new chatter post if someone replies or um, alert someone with the Salesforce bell or send an email that someone replied. So you, sky's the limit is what you can do here, but it's most important to grab whatever is coming from that last threaded message reply and get it into Salesforce somewhere or the other. That's it for today. Let me know if you have any questions.